and turn on my TV, I had this crazy sense of deja vu. Why? Can you say 2004? Can you say 2000? We've all been around for the last couple of those wacky presidential elections, and it seems like voting madness is once again upon us. Take a look at those early voters stuck in long lines getting royally ticked off. This was what really got me. The you wouldn't believe it unless CNN is reporting its story of how some electronic voting machines in West Virginia were selecting McCain when voters actually punched Obama. Yep. That happened, gang, and I thought, holy cow, is the insanity starting all over again? Are all the headaches and the craziness and the accusations of election fraud surrounding the last two presidential elections about to come crashing into this election? It certainly seems that way. The right has spent the past few weeks accusing the community organization group ACORD of voter fraud on a massive scale, and the left argues those claims are phony baloney. Meantime, the left suggests the GOP he is suppressing voter registration and the right retorts not true so I don't know what to believe anymore except this we the American people do not want to be hassled when we go to vote and we don't want to revisit that mess of 2000 here to figure all of this out Tom Fitton president and chief spokesman of Judicial Watch and Greg Palace writer at Rolling Stone who wrote a very insightful article on the GOP's attempts to allegedly suppress the vote for some in this election Greg let's start with you we all yeah. live through the hanging Chad night Nightmare of 2000. Are we going to experience that again? And this time, will it be not just in Florida, but across the nation because of something called HAVA, the Help America Vote Act, which you feel has been hijacked by the right? Why and how? The whole nation has been fluoridated, Jane. What's happened is I'm the reporter that broke the story about how before 2000, Catherine Harris and Jeb Bush knocked off tens of thousands of black voters off the voter rolls, calling them felons, criminals when in fact their only crime was voting while black. Now that same method of mass purging is going on in all the swing states where Republicans control elections machinery, like Colorado. I mean, not many people know that 19.4%, that's one out of five voters in the state of Colorado have been voof, vanished off the voter rolls. New Mexico, one Wait, in nine how, voters. how do they do that? I mean, they're, they're just well, erasing it? I can't imagine yep, that. Yep. It's, a, it's a purge. They call it list maintenance. They're getting rid of suspect voters. They have a brand new system under what's called the Help America Vote Act, which George Bush signed. Now George is helping us vote, if you can imagine that. And one thing that they're doing is they're checking names on voter rolls against government databases, and when there's a mismatch, you're gone. In fact, but what we're finding is that the the uh, voters that are losing their vote have such names as Velez Mitchell. Ah, if, you know, oh no. so if you were in Colorado, <laughs> you wouldn't be voting, baby. All right. Not All right. a chance. Let's give Tom Fitton, president and chief spokesman of Judicial Watch, a chance to respond to that. Okay, if I go to the voting booth and I'm a new voter, what they're essentially saying is, because I have a hyphen in my name, if I signed out a registration form and didn't put that hyphen in, but that hyphen's on my driver's license, I can't vote. Do you think that's really happening in America right well, now? Well, maybe if you registered through ACORN, you might have an issue because of all the fraudulent <laughs> registration forms they've been putting forward. You know, Greg is kind of wrong on the history, and I, and I like Greg. He's a good guy. We've worked together in the past. Uh, but uh, this law, this federal law that was passed, was in response to liberal concerns about what happened in 2000. So this was a reform put forward by liberals in a bipartisan way. Obviously, Bush signed it to kind of take care of the problems that happened in 2000. The American people don't want fraudulent voting. And what happens is they clean up the list, and if you show up and your name has accidentally uh, been removed when you had the right to vote and you're eligible to vote, in most cases you can cast a provisional va ballot and your name is going to be, uh, your vote is going to be counted in the long run. All right, the so concern you're... is that these fraudulent registrations are going to lead to fraudulent voting. And in a close race, whether it be in Ohio or Nevada or elsewhere, uh, this is where this ACORN scandal, I think, is going to be have a potentially explosive impact on Election Day. All right, I want to get to ACORN in a second, but there's so many different scandals here, it's hard to keep up. Take a look at this video, guys. This is an electronic voting machine in use in Jackson County in West Virginia. And what you see there is somebody trying to vote for Obama, but their finger goes onto the blue line between the two names, and they end up voting for McCain. Now, everybody's saying this is an isolated incident. They caught it, but it doesn't instill a lot of confidence in the system. 
past him. You know. Hey, Jane, it looks like someone's voting for McCain and hitting Obama. Uh, you know, that, that to me is an indication you got to be careful when you use these machines. And if you put your name in the middle, if you put your finger between the two names, who knows what's going to pop up? That's, but I mean, sorry, come on, no. in Florida, remember the senior citizens with the hanging chads? Why can't we get this right? I mean, is this is this the, like sending somebody to the moon to come up with a voting system it's the where, where we they can figure out it. when Jane, people want, want to right. vote for so and so, they actually get to press that without accidentally hitting the other side? Jane, yeah. they don't want it right. This is Greg Powell's. Listen, uh, in. The U.S. Civil Rights Commission has measured this. That's called vote spoilage, that votes don't come out right or they don't get counted. Votes don't spoil because you leave them out of the fridge. According to the U.S. Civil Rights Commission, if you're black, the chance your vote will spoil, get messed up, is 900% higher than if you are right. This attack on ACORN is just baloney to right, cover up Republican vote theft. Speaking That's of exactly the attack on ACORN, I want you to listen to what McCain said about ACORN at the last debate because it's a heck of an accusation. We need to know the full extent of Senator Obama's relationship with ACORN, who is now on the verge of maybe perpetrating one of the greatest frauds in voter history in this country, maybe destroying a fabric of democracy. And it doesn't end there. I want to show you this. Take a look at this full-page ad that is in today's New York Times from the liberal group People for the American Way, who were saying that the accusations against ACORN are a fraud and a false story instigated by right-wing operatives. That's Who's right. telling the truth? Let's start with Tom. Well, it's the New York Times, I think, is telling the truth. They had a report today talking about an ACORN internal investigation that found that uh, nonprofit monies from one of ACORN's arms are seemingly being improperly used in this voter registration drive and prior voter registration drives. So you have nonprofit monies potentially illegally being used for partisan purposes. I understand And the organization that. Okay. involved yeah, here, on. Jane, is Project Vote, Barack Obama's former uh, employer. I'm going to give you the last word, but I just want to say that even if you sign your name as Mickey Mouse on a voter registration form, that doesn't mean you can show up and vote as Mickey Mouse. I mean, the, the key In question some is, is who's means you voting can. twice, and is that a large percentage of people? Yes or no answer, Greg. Absolutely not. There are 24 people convicted of voter fraud over four years in the United okay. States out of 178 million voters. It's a complete con. All right. Yet all this anti-fraud stuff is used to literally eliminate 2.7 million go, voters. Gotta go, guys. Fascinating conversation. Thanks, we'll continue Jane. it soon. Greg, Tom, thank you. Now let's take my